Telling people to check their privilege is about as useful as telling people to check their sin. Now, I think if you want to use the whole privilege, like before a conversation is had or before a, some sort of a group meeting or an action committee or something, and they're all progressive and they all believe in the uh, tenets of modern progressivism, then if that's how they want to organize their group, their, their exchange, their interaction by everyone checking their privilege first, uh, then, you know, great. That's, if that's the way that the people involved want to do it, that's great. But it's about as useful as a group of Christians when talking, or any, any religious group that believes in, in, in sin, uh, before engaging with people who don't maybe have the same belief, insisting that they check their sin before the conversation begins and maybe the person with the least sin or the least sinful activity their opinion is more valid because they're more in line with the tenets of their ideology they have they have um, least they have they have the least amount of demerits according to their ideology and therefore their opinion should be considered first um, or and then what about the fact that maybe if you're an atheist, regardless of your individual actions, if you're an atheist, just inherently you have a lot of sin. And therefore, atheists should be, their points of view should be considered considerably below the level of maybe, uh, let's say that it's a, a Christian group. Like obviously, if you're a Christian in good standing and you haven't sinned, then you, your opinion is most valuable. Maybe if you're an atheist, you have inherently sinned, so your opinion would be at the bottom. Um, of course, Muslims, they'd be believing in the wrong God, so their sin, their opinion would be ranked considerably below that of a Christian, possibly above an atheist. They can't help it. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter their personal actions or... Uh, the good things that they've done, they have this inherent sin by the fact that they're a Muslim and therefore, or uh, a Buddhist, or let's say a Hindu, you know, an idolater, right? You know, they believe in idols. That puts them really, really far below. If a group were going to engage another group and they're using check your sin, it, to me, it seems the same as progressives trying to engage Donald Trump supporters or, or any group that doesn't value the, uh, you know, the, the progressive ideology of checking your privilege. Um, it, it doesn't work. It's such a bad idea. It's such so clearly a bad, it's not going to get you anywhere. In the same way that if a Christian group walked up to a LGBTQ uh, group and said, okay, we're going to have a dialogue about, you know, uh, homosexuality. But before we get started, let's all check our sin, and then we'll continue. And I guess the argument could be, this would be the argument from the progressive group would be, but privilege is real. It's real. And therefore, you know, sin is not real, but privilege is real. And therefore, it's important that we check it. Well, I mean, it's... It's, it's real in your imagining of the world is, is that it's real, you know. You can't expect that someone else is going to agree. To the Christian group, sin is real. So, it's not, it does not help in different groups exchanging ideas if before you even get into the conversation you insist that the other group recognize and subvert themselves uh, submit themselves to your interpretation of the world before you even begin the the, the conversation uh, to me they're identical you know if you're going to talk about what is privilege so so i've heard so many people get in debates about this there's there's no there's no agreed upon what is white privilege or uh, what is male privilege. These are these 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 terms. These questions are whether they exist, to what extent they exist, are entirely up for debate. 
So it's just really, it gets you nowhere. It helps nothing. It's before a, a conversation or a dialogue even begins, you're, you're creating a wall and saying, before we start here, now I want you to bow down and recognize the reality of my worldview, and then we'll begin a conversation about worldviews. It, it's, it's pointless. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say, and thank you for watching.